you can see how much bigger the horse is going to be than the one I've got now. And I've worked out the scale of the human that will be on its back. Um, I did all this on my computer. Um, I show how I do this on, I think, two, maybe three of my instructional videos on creating a horse. Uh, I've got three videos on horses. Um, I don't think I've got it on the, the uh, creating the horse's head, but I think it's down the ridge line and creating a horse from scratch. Yeah, that's two. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start making the armature. You're not going to see that because I show how I do that uh, in that video, or those videos. I will uh, come back when I get the horse mounted and uh, after I put some clay on. It may not be today. Time to play with some clay. All right, about an hour and a half later, I've got my uh, armature made. I'm not gonna have the horse in the same position I had in the original. I'm gonna have him at the top of a mountain, kind of like at the crest. And the horse is gonna be, uh, his stance will be a little bit different. But anyway, that's uh, the armature as it is right now. And uh, I'll pick this up. And actually, I get, I'll pick it up when I get it mounted. Okay, I'm trying to place the other foot. I want that hook jump down just a little further than this hook because he's on a hill. Now. Okay. I'm not going to need uh, any kind of center support because uh, these uh, wire legs are strong enough to hold the, the horse up, even if, with the weight of the clay that will go on it. The uh, copper or the uh, aluminum wire that I got off of uh, Amazon was uh, is five millimeter. And it's uh, a length of 4.8 meters, 12 feet. So, just a little over 12 feet, close to 13. All right. Okay, I'm just uh, cleaning off the base. I don't want a bunch of loose. shavings. All right, I'm going to make the base. And I'm going to use tape to create a uh, reservoir for the uh, foam that I'm going to put in. Now the foam I use is taxidermy foam.
it is not something I would suggest anybody use that hasn't got a little age to them in some mental capacity like a little mature I would not talk to any children or kids under 20 that uh, would want to use it because you get that stuff on you you will not get it off your skin for a very very long time and if you get it on your clothes your clothes will have it on that item forever it's not a good product to work with you got to be very very careful with it I'll be back when I get this uh, built up. All right, I got the reservoir made. You want to make a reservoir that has no gaps anywhere because if you have a gap, the foam will find that hole or that weakness and it will pop right through and start pouring out on your sculpting stand and all over everything and it's believe me it is not easy to clean up again I'm telling you this stuff is dangerous to work with I'm a professional though <laughs> anyway all right I'm gonna get ready to uh, pour the foam and I'll be right back before you do anything with taxidermy foam get your gloves on because this stuff is really bad and this is the worst one this component a it's the hardest one to keep from hardening up it's a you don't clean the uh, top of the uh, spout it will cake up and it makes it very hard to uh, get the cap off. I'm going to fill the foam up to a line in the cup. It's always good to have paper towels nearby because you got to uh, clean this lid or this where the lid goes on really good and then I use a piece of uh, plastic wrap to uh, seal the top so that the uh, lid doesn't come in contact with that wet material this one is a lot easier, it's this uh, bee mixture. It doesn't have the problems of the A mixture. It doesn't cake up and make things hard to get loosened. All right, I'm going to Pour the equal parts of the foam in. You gotta work fast because this stuff will start foaming up real quick. But you just gotta mix the two parts together thoroughly. Yeah, I've gotta get that out of there and get it in the trash can without dripping it on me. Well, there it is. It's, uh, the uh, reservoir has held it up and uh, I don't mind the deformation because quite honestly that works fine for my base. I have no leaks, although it's pushing the tape apart right there. 
but it doesn't matter because it's solidified enough that it's not going to start pouring out. Look at that, it even separated the tape right there too. That's how much pressure there is exerted by this uh, foam. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the tape off. All right, that's going to be it uh, for today. It's uh, still a little tacky. I don't want to start carving on it tonight. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'll save all these pieces I cut off. I'm going to be cutting from there up off uh, because that's where the bottom of the hoof is. And uh, I'm going to use parts of these to glue on to the uh, foam to extend the... Uh, ground in areas that I want to extend it. I'm just trying to save clay because clay is very expensive. You know, if you enjoy these videos of mine, I'd greatly appreciate uh, a like and a subscribe and a clicking the bell. It would help my channel to uh, get out to more than just a couple of people and uh, and share. I really like that. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.